Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2024 Volkswagen Golf GTI SE. This particular one is opal white pearl effect on the exterior with Titan black leather package on the interior. It features keyless entry on two doors, LED headlights, LED fog lights, LED tail lights, GTI badging, that five star or five dot set up there on the fog lights down below. A red stripe across the top of the grill and then an LED light bar that comes up to the logo right here. GTI badging right off to the left. Panoramic sunroof on this one. Nice sharp line down the side comes out of the GTI flare into the door handles and up into the tail light. 18 inch machine black and silver alloy wheels, red calipers, dual exhaust on the back with some black ground effects back there as well. It says GTI, trimmed out in chrome, red, red uh, letters with uh, chrome trim. And then also that Volkswagen logo, which is also your rear view camera and also your uh, handle for the lift gate. Park distance sensors, front and rear. Let's take a look at the inside. On the door inset right here, you have leatherette right here. You have leatherette down here as well. Uh, you do have pockets for uh, bottles or cups down below. Power folding mirrors are now standard. You also get ambient lighting in this door trim right here. It has the honeycomb design carried over from the grill into the door panel here. Before I climb in here, here's a look at the seats. Three seat memory here with the leather package. Uh, you also get power uh, lumbar forward, back, up and down. Uh, heated and ventilated seats with this. It says Titan black on the window sticker, but it has a combo of gray, the black, the red stitching here, red piping, and GTI embroidered in the seat. A fixed headrest or in incorporated headrest into the seat there, similar to a Recaro seat, with red leatherette down the back, and then black leatherette on the side. The arm pad right here, or armrest, has red contrast stitching there. There's a look at the back seats as well. Adjustable headrests on all of those. The leather carries over on the two outboard seats. Let's climb in. All right, so when we climb in here, here's a look at your cockpit here, your digital cockpit. Multiple views here. Default is the red color here. Um, I'm actually uh, going to uh, show you some, some stuff here um, in just a second, but I'm actually gonna turn on the climate control because it's off and it's suddenly hot. So we're going to actually turn on the climate control. So I'm going to skip to that right there. And we're going to do the vents right here and get that going. Um, I'll have to open up the vents here because this car just got PDI'd. So it wasn't in, in uh, camera ready mode yet. So um, we'll go back to that there. I'm going to close the sunroof as well. I have the fog lights on. I also have the automatic headlights right here. Rear defrost is over here on the right. And then you also have max defrost over here on the left back to this digital cluster right here you do get uh, multiple views here red is the default color uh, there's about six different views here so red's going to be the color for those um, and then uh, you do also have this guy right here this is the favorite that's the fan favorite over here on the climate control or the uh, infotainment screen it's a 10 inch screen right here with the home button you do also have um, the oh, turn on AC there we go all right, so you do have heated and ventilated seats here. They are set up right here on both sides. So uh, climate control, there's an off button for it right there. You also have a settings button right here where you can do seats, seat heating off, ventilation off. Um, wow, that's new. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna change that there. I didn't know that was an option on the screen there. So we're gonna X out of that though. You have navigation on this one. You also have the auto start stop button, which I've already uh, uh, activated here, so the engine won't shut off. I do also have my tire pressures that read right here, uh, the radio and telephone right here, um, navigation on this side. If I hit the home button right here, I have this main menu here. I also have gesture control where I can wave my hand across right there, and then get the split screen here for my sound system. My sound system is gonna be Harman Kardon, uh, premium audio with a subwoofer in the trunk there and I'm just messing with it there. The volume's turned down so we don't get any copyright strikes. Um, you, also have, um, you also have a slider down here at the bottom for your volume control right there. So that's mute, uh, quickly mute 
and then also your temperature you can slide to the left to go cooler or swipe to the right to go warmer on either side that's pretty standard down here two USB-C connections right here that are backlit so you can see them at night you also have a wireless charger right here wireless Apple CarPlay wireless Android Auto um, gloss black finish down here uh, I'm gonna skip back to this guy real quick here because I'm all over the place today guys I'm trying to get this done because the guy's coming to buy this car and I didn't have a chance to make a video of it beforehand mode right there eco comfort sport and custom so you can actually tweak it here in the custom one and this is your dynamic chassis control type stuff right here so driving dynamic steering drivetrain engine sound ACC light assist all of that good stuff there um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that out or X out of that right there and then I'm back here uh, I did change the mode so it did change the color to blue um, you can also go to if you go to settings I could have done it there but I'm gonna do it here settings time and date uh, mobile devices here Wi-Fi you do have Wi-Fi in the car uh, for one free one month free I should say on the car itself I go to vehicle I'm gonna go to interior and let's see here Doo -doo -doo. swipe swipe central locking service position and I'm not finding the ambient light set up but it's here oh it went to exterior that's why uh, let's see. no it's back on there we go interior lighting all right so maximum dark it is not doing ambient lighting so maybe we don't have ambient lighting on this one um, I'm not sure here um, I'm pretty sure it's there it's just I'm not finding it and I'm a little little rusty on going through the menu here on on camera uh, your vent set up right here you have it all the way across linear set up here you have a parking menu here too so that's your park distance sensor that brings up your rear view camera um, speaking of that rear view camera I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse the little shifter here you push up on chimes like an Audi there's the yellow reverse logo right there there's your camera right there you get trajectory steering turn the wheel left turn the wheel right uh, the yellow line moves accordingly the red line signifies straight back and of course and put it in park and you're set right there engine start is right there you do also have an e-brake right here you just lift up on to activate uh, and then you have storage for ink pens or something right here that gloss black finish comes all the way down this cup holder is a curious design here I have it in my golf R um, it just it, it, uh, it's a turntable kind of deal where it actually grabs the cup you sit the cup in push the button and it kind of grabs it and to push it back you just push back like that you also have a cup holder here uh, it is not the stadium seat style cup holder which I would kind of prefer that way if I have two of the same size cup they're not fighting each other for supremacy you have a 12 volt charger port right there now here's the thing if you're running a radar detector from there to there is a long distance so what I did with mine and my Golf R, I actually wired it where it's over here and it wired into the fuse box over on the side. You can, if you know how to do that, knock it yourself out. It's pretty easy to do, I guess. Uh, and then you also have the stainless steel pedal caps down below. Um, on the passenger side here, the seat is manual. There's a loop to slide it forward and back. Over here on the side, it's partial power for the seat back. And then there's a handle here to raise and lower the seat. Bottle and cup storage in the door and in the glove box here. There's your manuals, tire warranties, and what have you in there. This particular one also has an auto dimming home link mirror with a digital compass up here on the side, three door garage door memory. Uh, you do get capacitive touch for your dome lights. Just tap to turn on, tap to turn off. Um, your sunroof, little slider right there. That's a panoramic sunroof. Windscreen pops up right here to block bugs. And then right now, cicadas, ugh, they're terrible. And then you just swipe again to close it. Vanity mirror on each side with an LED light above. For those of you who may not be aware, the cicadas are out of control. The 17-year and the 13-year ones both emerged at the same time this year, and they're everywhere. They're like swarms. There's your storage bin right here. Oh, that little piece is out. I put it in there backwards. Like I said, this car just got PDI'd, so um, they missed the thing there. There's your armrest there. It is an adjustable armrest, so you can lock it wherever you want, just like that, and then lift up and push down. Let's take a look at the back seats. This one comes in at 40,728. Extras on this one include 395 for the opal white pearl paint, 1225 for the SE leather seat package, which is power adjustable seat with position memory, ventilated front seats, Vienna leather seating surfaces, first 
and second row outboard, second row uh, for that leather. Uh, then you also have 405 for the auto naming home link mirror, 368 for the GTI protection package, which includes the monster mats, heavy duty trunk liner, cargo blocks, and luggage net for the cargo area. 195 for addition, additional third year of included or prepaid maintenance, and then 1225 for destination brings you to 40,728. There's a look at that sunroof there, that thin bezel on it. I left it popped here. So this is the vent position here, but it's a thin bezel here and it seals out water so you don't have to worry about leaking or clogged sunroof drains there. Back here, door inset right there is leatherette and then leatherette arm pad there and then storage right here as well. Speaker in the door. Climbing in the back seat here, I have my uh, pockets back here for maps and, and whatever back here. Also on this side here. Uh, you do also have vents back here for your rear passengers, uh, a little storage cubby right there, and then down below you have two USB-Cs that are backlit so you can see them at night. Two phone charging pockets up here on the backs of these seats uh, so you can trace your cords up to here, um, and then, or you can just put phone in here. You don't have to be charging. Obviously, you can just sit a phone in the pocket there. Um, now, nice and comfortable back here. I'm just wearing boring socks today, uh, but here's a look up at the front. Instrument cluster, infotainment system. And then there's your dome lights for the back with the black headliner. Harman Kardon is represented on the A-pillar speakers right there and there. Let's take a look at the trunk. As we look at those wheels one more time there, we come around to the back and you push in on the V, the V at the top and out on the W, lift up. There's your monster match right there. You also have cargo blocks here, a front license plate and luggage net there. This is my actual license plate. I want to get gas for the car. Um, and I'm in Missouri. Yes, I'm in Missouri. So Underneath the floor here. There's your subwoofer and spare tire. It's a quick release sub Also your jack apparatus is off to the side. We don't put that front plate on unless the customer requests it There's a privacy cover every golf GTI and golf R comes with that and the seats will fold flat from up here There's a handle here to lift up or to close that hatch and this car comes with a four-year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen four years 50,000 miles bumper to bumper on this car. That will also include three years of included maintenance and if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's I'm going to give you an additional three years of free maintenance as well. So a total of six. If you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's we also give you a 10 year 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. So if you're interested in a car like this one give me a call 636-290-4257 636-290-4257 I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.